Welcome to the Karma Good Radio Show, brought to you by Veteran Rescue Mission. I'm Andres, here with my dad, here with Pastor John McLean, and here with Jonathan Arlia with Photography by Jonathan Arlia. That's a good one, man. Goodness. Yeah, you just yeah. you got to take that audio yeah. clip and like and it. make it make that your own. Yeah, so you right can go there. Home. You take the car, hear the keys. Yeah, like like if anything like like when they call your voicemail it'd be like, "Hello, thank you for calling Photography by Jonathan Arlia." <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and I shouldn't have his name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So yeah, so welcome everybody. This is the Common Good Radio Show brought to you by Veteran Rescue Mission as as he said, I'm Pastor John McLean here with Little Andreas or medium sized Andreas <laughs> with large Andreas or medium large, not to disrespect, yeah, you know, yeah. Schmedium. Yeah. Schmedium <laughs> Andreas. <laughs> and, and as he mentioned, we have an awesome show for today. We have um, Jonathan Arlia with Photography from Photography by Jonathan Arlia for the first half of the show. And in the second half of the show, we have John Spur with um, what is the name of that? Inspired, Inspired Life. Inspired Life Mortgage. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. We should know the name of the people. I, I knew show. it before yeah. you even said yeah. that. It yeah. was yeah. A, I, I just you read it on the paper. It. No, I yeah. visualized yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this would not be the Common Good Radio show if we did not give much thanks to a very great God that has not only blessed us to be able to do a talk radio show, but has blessed us with amazing children, amazing friends and family that I, I thank God for every single day for good breath and health. I'm recovering from a sore ankle or sprained ankle rather, but uh, nonetheless, I'm happy that it's not a broken foot. So yeah, I know, man. Um, let's start yep. with uh, a little prayer to, to thank God. And, and it goes something like this. Dear Lord, thank you so much for being here for us, for loving us, to teach us how to love one another. Thank you so much for reminding us that you're here for us, even during the trials and tribulations. I thank you for for teaching me that not only is my sprained ankle a gift, but it is a reminder that I need to slow down mm. and to move at your pace, Lord. I thank you so much for for all these amazing people that you have in studio with us today, and and I ask that you bless us to have another amazing show. In your son's name, I pray. Amen. 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 Yeah, I, I think I like those. <clears throat> those those are good. Yeah. Yeah. The opening prayer, or just like the no, ad lib one. Those ad lib ones. Yeah. So yeah. I think so. I think so too. Yeah. I mean, I really I like the the can thing. We do the Lord's prayer that I usually do, but yeah, I certainly I love kind of like my freestyle prayer because it kind of allows me to tap into all the things going on in the world and yeah and yeah. kind of you know yeah, yeah. be in the moment yeah yeah and give give be they call it present because it's a gift mm. right yes sir yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so uh speaking of gifts we have mr photography by jonathan arlia here in studio a good friend that for feels like forever now but i, I feel like we met at the arizona sands club and and it's just we hit it off and and you know been and hanging out ever since yes yes uh i th- i actually think we uh we met last uh last winter last year really interesting yeah so we, uh-huh. we it's coming up on like a year Man. wow yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. It's, time flies I'm, mm-hmm. I'm very grateful to have met you and it's just nothing but benefit you know yeah for sure yeah mm-hmm. and i i guess kind of just to unwrap this package for those, for our listeners who don't know, what is photography by Jonathan Arlia? What is photography by Jonathan Arlia? So that is uh, my company I established in uh, 2019. Okay. Um, before then, I had had already about, I guess, about six, yeah, about six years of experience with uh, professional photography. Mm-hmm. Um, self-taught, I just seem to work better that way r- rather than a structured environment. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's it's an amazingly fascinating and rewarding uh, career and field. And um, I actually, I, I posted something on Facebook uh, maybe about a month ago. I saw someone post it, I reposted it, uh, talked about, well, there was all these necessary uh occupations doctor lawyer mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. but um and he says but uh you know po- poetry beauty love these are the things that make make life uh, worth living for mm-hmm. 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 so it kind of actually clicked in my mind is that what i do is not merely like a luxury it has significant deep meaning and mm-hmm. you know so yeah that's great and, and why what would you say makes your 
photography like you know poetry significance uh, like why, why does it have significance like what what are your thoughts when you say that right there well every every artist has their own uh style mm -hmm. you know yeah. and it's not really about well this hot artist is better than the other artists you know uh -huh. a lot of it's kind of um you know uh objective mm -hmm. and but you know other than that <clears throat> i'm dedicated to what i do and um, I'm very invested into it. So every time I do a job, if it's a small one, it's a big, big, big one. Doesn't matter. I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm making sure that you know my client has exactly what they need. What they need, and they're going to be really, really satisfied. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a lot of like five star reviews because Love of it. that. That's mm -hmm. awesome. <clears throat> yeah, and I, and also I guess fill us in a little, a little bit about about yourself, like your upbringing, kind of, you know. Uh, outside of that after you graduated high school or whatever kind of what where, where it led you to be in this uh magnificent photographer that you are well um so born and raised here in tucson nice. um, tucson I, boy <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um i i actually love it here i really love it here um it's just a million other places i want to see and visit you know? mm -hmm. um but yeah i'm born and raised here um had a little bit of turbulence growing up as a kid mm. Um, out of high school, my dream was to be uh, a photographer for National Geographic. Mm -hmm. nice. uh, life uh, threw me some other curveballs. Yeah, you know? it does that. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, sometime later, I, I'd say actually maybe about 11, 12 years after that, after mm. high school, that's where I kind of swung around back into, um, you know, photography and mm -hmm. videography. Nice. And, um, you know, other than that, I am just who I am as a person. I'm kind and I'm patient and kind of soft-spoken. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah. And so you you say you kind of like, and we have probably about a minute with the close on this, but you say at a certain age you're kind of, you're drawn back into photography to kind of <coughs> reignite what was, you know, a, a, a dream as a kid. What what would you say was the catalyst to to get back into to photography and you know and been doing it for you know nearly a decade now? Hmm. Well, the way I got into it is actually kind of interesting. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I started going to some yoga classes and uh, hmm. made friends with the instructor, hmm. <clears throat> and somehow it led to me doing video and, and doing pictures for his classes and mm -hmm. from then I, I went on to work with models and I kept self-educating and did some portraits, some events uh, learn, learn, learn and it's just been an amazing journey and it, hey, I'm in the middle of it I'm not there yet but I'm on my way up there Thanks. you go yeah, Love it. Love yeah. It. I've seen your pictures, you're, I mean you're, you're excellent, obviously I'm biased you do the video for the show as well but uh We'll definitely talk about all that and more. That's uh, Photography by Jonathan or Aaliyah. Um, definitely check him out. Uh, this is the Common Good Radio Show brought to you by Veteran Rescue Mission. My buddy, Andreas Ruiz, has a little something to tell you. Yeah, so uh, I'm actually um, promoting my bracelets. Uh, recently, I've been having a lot of people uh, donate uh, you know, for some bracelets to give out to people to inspire them. I've had a basketball team. Uh, thank you to Eric. Um, E. Freezy, who e we've had on the show. Yep, he uh, donated to a basketball team. And then I've had uh, Jody Gunn from Canada who donated about, uh, what, eight bracelets. So if you're the type of person that wants to donate to inspire other people, let me know. Or if you would like to get your pair of I Believe in Myself bracelets and I Am Worthy bracelets. Welcome back to the Common Good Raider Show, brought to you by Veteran Rescue Mission. I'm Andres, here with my dad, here with Pastor John McLean. And here of Jonathan Arlia with photography by Jonathan Arlia. Yeah. You got it right, man. man. Yeah, He's Jonathan so Arlia. Smooth. Yep, you yep. said it right, dude. If, if you don't end up being some level of a member of the media, I'll be surprised, man. Because you're just <laughs> yeah. you're smooth. You really are. You're smooth and slick. Like you're I have smooth operator. I have a 12 year old, a 14 year old, and a 15 year old, and I'd like to think you're smoother than both of them. And and they're my kids, <laughs> so you know that you know I'm serious. Like I love the heck out of these guys, but you you coming with it? I'm proud of you, buddy. Here, hit that rock. Boom, boom. It's the rock, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Those those are who are watching at uh, KVOI dot com or watching on the KVOI YouTube page. You got to see the rock get hit. Boom. Yeah, I am Pastor John McLean, as you mentioned here on the Come Good Radio Show, here with Andrea Ruiz and photography by Jonathan Arlia. I have Jonathan Arlia here side next side me. Thanks for being here, bud. 
Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. before we went to break, we were talking about um, you know, your background and kind of what brought you, got you into being this award-winning photographer, right? <laughs> um, so what, outside from kind of the background, what are some of the services that you do that our listeners can um, tap into? So in the past, I've been um, kind of a jack-of-all-trades, a versatile, very versatile, but uh, seeing the value in um, specializing. So mm -hmm. I'm moving, I'm focusing on uh, videography, uh, drone photography, mm. uh, high-end virtual tours, um, and, yep, that kind of stuff. Nice. So, like, when, it, when you're talking about drone photography, like, what does that entail? What is, like, let's just say I'm, I'm John Q. Public listening at home. What, you know, what type of things do you like to, to get footage of? And, and being, a, you know, a customer, what is something that I could really utilize your services in when it comes to drone footage? Well, it's a simple fact that uh, we, we all walk around on two legs and about the only time we're ever in the air is if we're in a plane. So having a drone gives you that perspective that, not, you know, you're not going to have all the time and you can't get with your phones, mm. you know. Um, get that aerial view perspective of the context of your neighborhood and the city behind um, just you know shots you can't get any other way mm -hmm. so what like some examples like um, maybe a, a mural I've definitely I've been seeing a lot of mural drone footage I've been seeing a lot of drone footage of like churches on the outside a lot of drone footage of different like real estate properties air i've been seeing some airbnb drone footage is are these some of like the examples of of the type of drone footage you you capture um well um some of the things you can do be like um aerial footage of uh, a business or a school or um a place uh, a location like that mm. uh also you can use them in events you know and i've even heard of people using them uh, in weddings which is mm. not something i've done but i'm thinking it could happen mm -hmm. yeah yeah as you're mentioning i had um we did an outreach event where we we had a concert and we fed the homeless out in front of the downtown library mm. and a friend of mine um did some drone footage for that and that was super cool i mean it almost like made like this this short movie of our event it's like a trailer drone footage yeah mm -hmm. yeah so it was yeah it is super cool the stuff that you can do and then i know um you also do like 3d virtual footage or 3d virtual shooting 3d virtual tours okay um and uh, I don't really do that uh, for uh, like uh, real estate so much, but I, I've been doing it for businesses, um, theaters for the historic Pima County Courthouse Memorial. Mm -hmm. um, those are just a little more fascinating to me. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And I mean, so you do so many things, man. And, you know, it's really inspiring how you've done all these things. And it all started with that yoga class, like you said. And um, I mean, I can imagine that, you know, you've done a lot of great things by yourself, but I'm, uh, I'm assuming that you've probably had people along the way that have helped you do all these amazing things. Like, or, or you know, can you think of people that have helped you on your journey or? Yes, yes, definitely true. Um, and I would not be here without the people around me supporting and lifting me up. Mm. Um, the the initial client uh, for the yoga class is uh, Tim, Tim Howell. We became mm. friends a long time ago. Mm. Nice. Uh, there's Tim. There's uh, Lisa Lopez from uh, Tucson Association of Realtors, mm. uh, a whole bunch of other uh, colleagues, Robin Dunn of uh, Dunn Wright Photography, Chris nice. Leon, mm. um, just all these amazing people. I I'd be like one of those moments on you know Oscars where I'm just listing people. <laughs> off yeah, like they're just minutes. playing the music, and you're just like, wait, 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 but I want to <laughs> give me one more. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, well, that's cool. So I mean, yeah, so like you know the the partnerships between I, i've been seeing the kind of like being a follower of yours on facebook between different photographers and you know other other professionals in the different industries have kind of helped you move that that dial along let's let me just ask this question before we kind of we touch base on some contact info information and wrap up is like what does a, a perfect client look like like what is what what type of client is ideal if they were to call you you'd be like all right that's exactly what i do hmm. well uh, i'd say perfect client is um someone who's easy to work with uh has interesting jobs gives clear communication um 
just makes it real simple and fun, you know, whether mm-hmm. that's events or drone footage or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, a high level of communication, just working back, you know, together and make sure it's, it's accomplished the w- right way. Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, cool. And I guess um, let's, let's touch base on some contact information. How can people get a hold of you if they want to want to utilize your services? Well, um, puts, I put a lot of uh, time and effort creating the website, which is uh, photography-ja.com. Nice. Uh, my number is 520-243-9571. Um, and I offer a free consultation as to anyone who is interested in my services. Dave, nice. you could repeat that number again just to make sure people catch that. Absolutely. 520-243-9571. And you said the website's photography-ja.com? Yep. Nice. Yeah, very simple. I like it. Yeah, and those who didn't catch it, this is photography by Jonathan Arlia. Um, he does drone footage, does 3D virtual tours. Um, I want I imagine he does kind of the plethora of things, um, but if you're looking for kind of so, some premier <coughs> quality... 3D virtual tours, or looking for some th- premier drone footage. I, I'd imagine his his um, bids are pretty competitive. I, w- I would give him a call. Go ahead and give us that number again. Oh, uh, 520-243-9571, and I give free consultations. Nice. Yeah, and go. that's uh, photography-ja.com. Definitely um, go go online. He also, I, I want to think he got a Facebook page and stuff like yep. that too. Instagram, Facebook. Nice. Facebook is just all, all plugged in. You, you can see all kind of examples of the amazing work that he does. Like I said, we're, I'm, we're a little bit biased here. He does the, the video for this very show. If you go to Common Good um, Radio YouTube page, you can see mm-hmm. some of our past shows there. And uh, yeah, and see you know the the kind of quality of work that you could get at a at a very affordable price. So thank you once again, Jonathan, for coming on the show, brother. Thank you very much, John and Andrea. Yeah, thank, yeah. thank you, man. Appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. So that's photography by Jonathan Arlia. This is the Common Good Radio Show, brought to you by Veteran Rescue Mission. I am Pastor John McLean here with Andrea Ruiz and Andreas Ruiz. This <laughs> that's photography by Jonathan Arlia that was here with us. If you haven't been to VeteranRescueMission.org. Please check it out. You can find out more about the show as well as all the amazing work that we do to help the unhoused veteran population, as well as you'll be able to find out about the show. And Welcome back to the Common Good Radio Show brought to you by Veteran Rescue Mission. I'm Andres, here with my dad, here with Pastor John McLean, and here with John Spur with Inspired Life Mortgage. Yeah. Nice. Good job, dude. You guys practice at home, don't you? Yeah, we do. That. I know. You're just so in so the we mirror, can, like, we just like <laughs> smiling, making <laughs> yeah. faces. Yeah, <laughs> I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, as, as um, Mr. Medium Andreas reminded us, we are the Common Good Radio Show brought to you by, by Veteran Rescue Mission. I am that Pastor John McClain. He mentioned a uh, caddy corner from me is Mr. Andreas Ruiz, my dynamic duo. And um, uh, across from me is Mr. John Spur of Inspired Life Mortgage. Thanks for joining us, brother. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. So, I've got to, I've got the pleasure of getting to know you and becoming better acquainted with you through the I Am Real Estate show, which is super cool. And you've been talking about kind of, um, you know, where where mortgage and real estate meets. But I look forward today primarily just to get into the the meat and potatoes of mortgage and kind of give particularly our listening audience the opportunity to get an understanding of like what is inspired life mortgage what is kind of this field and what are these these different cubby holes that we find when we we start looking for a house but i guess let's just start start the ball rolling with letting our our listening audience know you know what is inspired life mortgage and what what do you guys do so Inspired Life Mortgage, I started about three years ago. Mm. I have over 31 years of experience in the industry. Mm-hmm. Mm. And after Dodd-Frank legislation uh, in 2010, that was a, basically an overhaul of the financial industry, I watched lenders, loan officers, and individuals in the industry try to find the loopholes mm. and do lending the way it used to be done, which was broken. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I just got tired of working for large corporations that didn't do it right, and I felt I could do it better mm. and be borrower-centric and make sure that 
their best needs are being met instead of my pocketbook. Mm -hmm. And so we started Inspired Life Mortgage. Now, the joke in the household is my wife has Inspired Life Chiropractic mm. that she's had for mm. 14 years, and she said I wasn't creative. I just stole her company name. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, but well, well, some people are right brain, some people are left brain. You know what can you do? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, one, I took it because I wanted to build a brand, and we're trying to build a brand. But the mm -hmm. big thing is our tagline is inspiring responsible homeownership, and it mm -hmm. just isn't a tagline. That's what we do. We uh -huh. like to make sure that people understand what they're getting into. And we're putting a budget together because what I can qualify you for and what you want to pay in a monthly payment are going to mm -hmm. be completely two different things. Mm -hmm. um, and so we work from a budget standpoint, figure out what you can afford to pay, mm -hmm. and then help you find that home, pair you up with a good real estate agent and everything else. Mm -hmm. So what would you yes. say is like, what what differentiates Inspired Life from the, you know, I don't even know how many other mortgage companies there are and, and even Tucson alone, but a, a whole bunch. Right? So... In the mortgage industry, there's basically four ways you can get a mortgage. You can go to a big bank, which is considered a retail mortgage. Mm. You can mm -hmm. go to a mortgage banker, which is a very large nationwide mortgage company. Mm -hmm. um, you could go to a local mortgage banker, which we have many of those here in Tucson, or you can mm -hmm. go to a mortgage broker. Mm -hmm. Those are your options. We're a mortgage broker. I've always been in the mortgage broker side for 30 years mm -hmm. and the wholesale mortgage side. And the reason I do it is because the regulation that's on us we're limited to how much we can charge. Mm. We're limited to how much money we can make from the lender. And I cannot make money from you, the borrower, and the lender. It has to be one or the other. Mm -hmm. None of the other three segments are regulated that way. Mm. So I think that's the first thing that makes us very unique is because we're a mortgage broker, based on leg legislation that's out there, we have lower rates and lower fees mm. just because of how we're regulated. Mm -hmm. um, Secondly, I have 31 years of experience. My business partner has 15 years experience as underwriting, and I've surrounded myself with a great team that has a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. And we try very hard not to say no. We try to figure out how can we get you into a home, and it may not be today. It may be six months, maybe a year. We've worked with people for two years to fix credit, help mm. them get better jobs, mm. and help them save money and get them into a program so they can buy a house. Mm most loan officers want instant gratification. If they can't help you today, they move on to the next person. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. And I like how you said how you have a great team. It sounds like a people of, with integrity. And uh, why would you say that's so important nowadays? Because it sounds like there's not that much going on right now. Like, It's experience matters. Integrity matters. Actually caring for the person you're doing a mm. home, home mm -hmm. loan for matters, mm -hmm. especially in this marketplace. Um, if you don't have somebody that is on your side mm -hmm. helping you get into a home and being an advocate for you, mm -hmm. and matter of fact, my individuals on the back end that help us with the processing of the paper and work with the borrowers most frequently, mm -hmm. we call them client advocates because mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. their job. They're advocating for the borrower to help them get them into the home. Mm -hmm. um, so that integrity and uh, the time in the business really does matter in a market like this to get people into homes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I and definitely... I guess just to kind of sh talk about my, you know, my experience with with what we've been doing lately, um, and kind of to vouch for for what you're saying because, <coughs> funny enough, I mean, we, my 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 wife and I, we we told ourselves we were we're going to wait till October to look for a house, and uh, then, you know, one of your co you know partners, I, I'd say, and and Sandra and Ray Smith said, at least check it out now, so. They they thankfully linked me up with you and um, you you know you you ran my wife and I's information and you found very promising stuff from it and and even above and beyond that you're like well hey John let me check and see if you're eligible for VA the VA loan and VA benefits which I didn't think I was I was I was completely set in my head under the belief that there's I, I wasn't I just wasn't eligible for whatever reason and uh, I told you if you want to waste your time go ahead and waste your time and you said no I don't think it's a waste of time I think it's a very good use of my time and I'm gonna try it put it you know you you continued to look into it and you found out that I was eligible for the VA loan and that now makes it so I don't have to put a down payment and all these other these other incentives in comparison to the other options that are out there and and in a lot of ways you changed our lives in a big way particularly not having to put twenty five thirty thousand dollars down whether we had it or not 
like that is a substantial trajectory change in, in, the, in the way we were doing things. So I can definitely attest for your ability to not only do your job, but to go above and beyond with your job. Mm -hmm. But and actually, let me let me hold that 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 thought because we're gonna we're gonna talk about all that and more. Have have uh, John Spur with Inspired Life Mortgage talk all about that when we get back from the break. This is Common Good Radio Show brought to you by Veteran Rescue Mission. I'm Pastor John McLean here with Andreas Ruiz and Andreas Ruiz and John Spur with Inspired Life Mortgage, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Common Good Radio Show brought to you by Veteran Rescue Mission. I'm Andres here with my dad, here with Pastor John McLean, and here with John Spur with Inspired Life Mortgage. Boom. Yeah, that's you right. got it, dude. Man. Good job, man. I give you an A. I you mean, get an A in the class today. I, I have three adult daughters that can do that. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was telling them, my three teenage boys, yeah, they, they don't don't even have a chance. Every time I come, they, they kind of trip over a little bit, but uh, <laughs> I love them nonetheless. <laughs> they, they have other gifts. There you go. Yeah. yeah. But your son, he's going to be a member, member of the media. He's, he's the I next think so, man. nice I don't know, Brian man. Gumbel. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Gumbel. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nice. So, yeah, as as Mr. Andreas mentioned, this is the Common Good Radio Show brought to you by Veteran Rescue Mission. I'm Pastor John McLean. That's Andreas, caddy corner from me. Next to him is his 10-year-old son, Andreas, who you wouldn't guess it. I, I would say 13, man. You're definitely <laughs> mature behind your years. Yeah. And um, we got John Spur with Inspired Life Mortgage, also <clears throat> uh, connected to Inspired Life Chiropractic definitely check them all out i guess real quick let our listeners know how they can um can connect with you before we we jump into it uh best way to get a hold of me is either email john at inspired life or mm -hmm. my direct line is 520-247-3610 cool and we'll we just for our listen so our listeners know we'll go ahead and remind you of that again at the end of the segment but um before we went into the segment we were talking about the, the heavy digging that you do and this like just how you go above and beyond particularly in my own situation so I, I guess I'll give you an opportunity to, to respond to that now well and it, it, it was funny you told me if you want to waste your time go ahead and waste your time and it, it honestly I did two emails and a phone call to somebody mm. I know with the Veterans Administration and mm. it basically said you know service record wasn't uploaded correctly fixed it and we we're on our way mm. nice. uh, but I find with veterans often they come and say I, I'm not eligible and they have They've been told by somebody else that they weren't eligible because of X, and so they feel that X applied to them. Mm -hmm. um, mm. And it's really about the time of service, the character of service, and when you were in the service. And there's a chart, and I looked at the chart from when you were in the service, and I'm like, there's absolutely no way you don't have benefits. Mm -hmm. We just need to find out why the system says you don't have benefits. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, and, but I find that a lot with veterans. They just don't think that they're eligible. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then they think trying to buy a home is very difficult. Whereas veterans don't have to put any money down. If you happen to be receiving disability insurance, you don't pay a funding fee. Um, or, I'm sorry, not disability insurance, disability pay. Um, you don't have to pay a funding fee. Mm -hmm. And VA loans have the lowest rates out there. And when you nice. put that all together, it makes home ownership very affordable. Mm -hmm. You just need somebody that understands the VA process inside and out. Yeah, and it's mind-boggling, especially being someone who is the head of a nonprofit that connects veterans with benefits that, you know, this is just one more, you know, thing that even, even the experts don't know about, you know, kind of showing where the gaps exist. Cause just imagine how many homeowners among veterans would exist if they were aware of this information. I, I mean, I've experienced it firsthand. I know a loan officer up in Phoenix, we're good friends and he started exploring homeless vets and homeownership and their home benefits and he found out that a lot of the people that are living on the street actually qualified for disability and qualified for a certificate of eligibility to buy a house mm. and he just went through the steps to mm -hmm. get them into that position mm -hmm. um, and so I just I feel like there's a, a lot of misinformation surrounding VA benefits in general mm -hmm. and VA home loan benefits mm -hmm. yeah for sure <clears throat> and I guess another big thing that's been happening I know it's like a conversation I want to think over the past couple months where actually I guess it, it happened this week but it's been a conversation that's been happening over the, the past couple months about the rates raised by the Fed and I, I think it was like 0.750 percent raise 
Um, how's that affecting mortgage rates? The, the funny thing is mortgage rates actually went down after the announcement. Mm. Wow. Um, mm. The Fed, the rate that the Feds control do not affect mortgage rates directly. They affect mm. other rates that indirectly affect mortgage rates. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's typically the bond market and the mortgage-backed securities market. And the mortgage-backed securities market and the bond market had a significantly higher increase in rates built in than what the Fed did. Mm-hmm. And so we've seen actually a very nice recovery in interest rates in the last couple of days. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think we'll probably hang out in this area we're at now because the Fed's comments afterward, they've lightened up on potential future uh, interest rate hikes. Mm-hmm. So sometimes when the Fed raises rates, mortgage rates go up. Sometimes they go down, but mm-hmm. it's not because of what the Fed did. Sometimes the Fed will lower rates and mortgage rates will go up. Mm-hmm. It's how it affects the items that indirectly affect mortgage rates. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So for like those those who are in a similar position of me and my wife that are just like sitting at home right now, sitting on their hands, waiting for either interest rates to go down or the market to pick up or, you know, X, Y, or Z to happen, you know, what do you say to those potential home buyers out there that are, are waiting for something dramatic to happen to the market before they, they play ball? I would say that every day you wait, the cost of your mortgage or the cost of the house, especially in Tucson, is going up. Mm. Um, I know the R word was thrown out there, recession, <clears throat> so on and so forth. Tucson is getting closer to a balanced market for houses. We're not there yet, but you're not in a bidding war anymore. You can go put an offer in a house and probably get it accepted. Mm. Um, home values are starting to flatten out. Uh, mortgage rates are very good compared to they were six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks ago. Mm. Um, you're going into the school year also, so you're going to have less competition. People with kids tend to not move during the school year because they don't want to change schools. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's probably a really good opportunity and a really good time to think about getting into the market. Let's get you pre-qualified, get you pre-approved, find out what you can buy and get you hooked up with a good agent to go find a home because I really feel like if I had to say in the last five months, this might be the best time to get into the market and get out there. Really? Mm. You know, you're, you're talking a lot about buyers, you know, but what it, in regards to like selling right now, I mean, is it like a buyer's market, seller's market? I mean, I know we're, I'm always listening to this and I'm not an expert, but far beyond from an expert. I'm like, you know, they talk about the buyer's market and uh, what about people that want to sell their homes? Is that something that is, you know, doable right now or what are your thoughts about that? Yeah, I'm absolutely not a real estate agent, but my 30-year opinion, I would say that this is an absolutely great time to sell a home. Mm-hmm. Um, if you just look at the appreciation that's happened in the last two or three years, uh, if you are ready to move up, if you're ready to move out of Tucson and somewhere else, I think you're going to get a very good value for your home. And there's still a housing shortage. Mm-hmm. Even though the inventory is increased, we still do have a housing shortage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I, I've been having people and even myself, you know, I've thought about it, you know, where maybe, hey, maybe I could I could sell my house because I've seen the uh, appreciation, I believe you said, uh, yes. where it's definitely gone way beyond how much, you know, I, I paid for it, you know, and I bought my house back in 2014 and I'm like, man, it's really gone up. So and then, hmm. and then something else to think about is you buy a home and you move into it and it's just you and your wife. And then you have two kids, and mm-hmm. now you feel like you've outgrown the home. Mm-hmm. You have a bunch of appreciation in it right now. We actually have loans that you can get a contractor to give you an estimate to add a bedroom and a bathroom or make a mm-hmm. grandmother suite mm-hmm. or put a garage on, and we can take that equity in the house mm-hmm. and help you expand the house and make it what you want as opposed to possibly selling and having to go buy a place. Mm-hmm. So that's always a viable option. If people are looking to mm-hmm. upgrade or go into a bigger home, but like the neighborhood they're in, you can always look at getting the equity out of your home mm-hmm. and expanding your home. Yeah, mm-hmm. interesting. And, and two thoughts that, that I'm having, kind of like as you're um, as you're going into this. One, I know, I remember you talking a lot about the comparison between buying today or versus renting, and the and those costs. Um, actually, let's let's just have you talk about that primarily. So, an an example is Ray and Sandra have a house for sale. That I've been working with them on a lot and. It's for sale for $400,000, and I've worked up payments on it multiple times, and you can get into that house for 5% down, and your payment's going to be about $1,900 a month. Mm. That same house today would rent for $2,500 a month. Mm. Mm. Um, the other part, 
you've heard me say a lot about renting is when you rent, your interest rate is 100%. Mm -hmm. You are paying the mortgage for somebody else Mm -hmm. and you're building no equity into that house and you're building no savings for yourself. Mm -hmm. Because when you make your mortgage payment, part of that is going to pay down the principal of the house. It's basically making a deposit to a savings account. Mm -hmm. When you pay rent, you're not putting any money in the savings account, you're putting it in somebody else's savings Mm -hmm. account. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And, and one last thought that was I was having before we um, have you t- tell us your contact information again is like a big thing that I saw that was mind boggling is you know my wife and I we are already homeowners and so when when the idea of buying another home came to mind that was another thing that seemed impossible like there you know is just we wouldn't qualify it just doesn't make sense so how often do you face you know people that possibly already own a home looking for another home and didn't even realize that they could qualify to get another home. I I have that conversation almost every day Mm -hmm. with potential homeowners and potential buyers. Um, There's great benefit in having investment properties. I have a lot of people that own multiple properties. My wife and I, we own multiple properties. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's not as hard as you think to do that. Mm -hmm. You just have to have somebody understands the process Mm -hmm. and can help walk you through it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. And Good then, stuff. Yeah, and then one last time, I guess, let our listeners know um, how they can get a hold of you, phone number, all the other fun stuff. Again, the best way to get a hold of me would be email, and that's john at Inspired Life Mortgage, or my direct line at 520-247-3610. Nice. One more time. John at InspiredLifeMortgage.com, or 520-247-3610. Thanks. Well, thank you so much for being here with us, Yeah, John. good stuff, man. Appreciate yeah. it. That's John Spur with Inspired Life Mortgage. Definitely check it out. I'm, I'm a little biased. He's, he's changing my life. I, I definitely suggest that you give him the opportunity to change your life. If you haven't been to VeteranRescueMission.org, also check that out. You'll be able to find out. Also be able to find John Spur and Inspired Life Mortgage on there underneath our partners page. As, as I've mentioned regularly, this is Common Good Radio Show brought to you by Veteran Rescue Mission. I'm Pastor John McClain here with Andrea Ruiz and Andrea Ruiz. That was John Spur. Spur with Inspired Life Mortgage that we just got done talking to. Certainly go to VeteranRescueMission.org to find out plenty more about the show. Also the I Am Real Estate radio show that will be on immediately following this one, as well as all the work we do to connect veterans with benefits and locating unhoused veterans and get them connected with housing. Thank you so much for listening. We'll catch you next week. This is, this is Common Good Radio and God bless. <laughs>